I actually just ordered a new computer that's actually uh, the first time I've ordered a computer with a dedicated graphics card in a long time. So his champion mills me. Inquisition. Sure. So. Inquisition gets to do the card to make me discard it. I think if I have two counter spells, probably takes my Oracle Song, which is basically Divination, lets me draw two cards. So depending on what he takes here, if he doesn't take the Oracle Song, I'm probably just going to cast it next turn, especially if we miss, uh, miss a resource drop. Took interesting. So this is like my, we took my finisher base very profitably. All right. So yeah. So I missed. Source drops. So we're gonna draw two here. Hopefully, find a shard. Uh, bricked on a shard, but we found a sapper's charge. It's an artifact that lets me shock something for two mana, so kind of like close removal, which is great. Shuffle peak and the ramp spell back into my deck. Still getting lag? I'm not dropping frames, am I? Hmm. No, it's fine. Yeah, Hex itself is running a little bit slow, so... Vampire Princess... Deals damage to an opponent, reveal a random card... Okay. So that eats actions out of my hand, which is a lot of what I have, so for sure. So this Sapper's Charge, we just uh, pay to it at instant speed and sacrifice it to shock. Alright, still haven't hit a resource, so this is a fatty that costs 7, but we can just cycle it back into our deck basically. I think you have to worry more about them killing the card, uh, killing the card that, um, killing worship itself, than you do have to worry about them killing worship itself than killing all of your creatures. Like, they have a hard time killing all of our creatures. You're in trouble. You're attacking your brother? Him getting Princess back down is pretty bad for us because our deck is mono action, so it just gets to eat a card from my hand every turn, basically. Hopefully we draw another Time Ripple. That would be ideal. So I'm going to put Time Ripple and Windsinger back into my deck. Yep. I think I'm going to cantrip Epiphany now because we could draw Time Ripple plus, an, plus a shard. The red white list is linked below the stream and you can find it on, uh, on my Facebook page. I posted an image. Without spending, you have to grind through the campaign. Uh, 
So the card that's really good. So he's kind of gotten on the board under the counter magic. The turn that I missed that resource the shards, pretty savage. So we've got a two fifths chance of just losing a card here. Hey, look, he a shard, so he doesn't get anything. That's good. There isn't a two mana thing that counters or kills our our six drop here, so that's good for us. And we hit a cantrip, so that's not bad. Put these back into my deck before we cantrip. Okay, we found a timer bolt, that's good. So our creature here puts, uh, replenishes our resources on their turn as well so we get to play this now and then we will have uh all seven of my resources back on his turn Draws a card, our champion lets us draw cards. That's pretty good. He's going to put some tarantulas into our deck. I think I'll let that hit. Uh, we can time ripple this at least and then counter on the way back down. Yeah, the frost arena is pretty quick. You just go like encounter to encounter and get a bunch of gold, and then you can farm gold into the platinum, which is the currency basically. I'm gonna return his vampire princess to his hand. It'll cost him five now, and then we're gonna counter whatever he casts afterwards. If he doesn't put anything else back onto the table under our counter magic, we can epiphany end of turn to draw three cards. This draws three cards now instead of just two because our champion shuffled it back into our deck. I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't replay anything. Flying, defense at 30 turn, very tough for turn. Champion's life, very serious way more cards, put a spawn in the point of your control. Yep, you can build your own deck for every part of the game. My wife's been playing the, the PV. I guess we could get negated here, and that would be really bad. He does have a blue shard. Uh, Verdict of the Ancient Kings counters a non troop spell. Okay, so we're going to draw three cards here, which kind of risks. Um, Hitting one of the tarantulas that he put into our deck, but we need to get through those. So let's put Time Ripple and Epiphany back into my deck. Then I've got four resources here, so I can pay two and get up to five with three open so i can do this and then still oracle song this turn to draw three cards and fortunate thing is that he's going to get to activate this and put tarantulas so there's going to be six of those in there that being said we have a pretty good chance of finding a way to bounce this so hopefully we can contain it uh, if we find our 8-8 eight, eight pretty soon, the Root Father, we can just close the game out and get into a point where we can just do that. We can basically tap out and use all of our actions up here because our actions replenish on his turn. Our energy replenishes his turn. All right, we got Counter Spell in hand, so that's pretty good.
I added worker bot at one point. Do I need to make it a mod for it to stay in the channel? I know MTG bot has to be made a mod to stay in channel. This counter spell is kind of cool. It costs three, and it also makes all of their cards with the same name as the one you shuffle back in cost more. So that's another one of these guys. So yeah, let's... Oh, that's him putting the ability on the stack. I'm an idiot. I was like, why can't I activate a counterspell? Because that was him putting the ability on. So now there's six things in our deck that when we draw them... So, like, this is another mechanic that just, like, isn't feasible in a regular game. Like, whenever this tarantula egg happens, he gets a 5-5, five five, which is just savage. So he milled two cards, and he hit one of these eggs. So that means... Oh, and he bounced the timer bolt. That's really good. Oh, it casts it, so I can counter this. No, it's just... Oh, when it comes into play, it fights something. Never mind. This doesn't have lethal, right? Wait, destroy target... Oh, it just destroys it straight up. That's savage. I'm gonna make Dreadnought is 24 damage turn two in Legacy. Rise again. I'm gonna counter that. You cannot hit my Wind Singer, thank you. I don't know how to get out from under both of these guys. The spiders are really crazy, yeah. Like you have to be you have to deal with this like immediately, or it just like gets out of hand. Well, that was actually a pretty good draw. So, this lets me fight two things when it comes into play. So, we're going to play this and fight these guys. So, we have to fight this one and, and this guy. So, they'll... Together, they'll be able to kill my Kronkosaur, but uh, he will trade with both of these. So, there won't be more Tarantulas in my deck, but there's still five more in there that we're probably going to have to fight through at some point here. If he has a removal spell in response, I have counter magic up. I'll prefer to be able to counter magic whatever he plays next turn. Let's keep shuffling cards back into my deck. I'm probably going to want... Hmm, do I want Time Ripple or Master of the Hunt? I think I just want things that interact with his stuff. Yeah, so put the fight guy back into my deck and an unsummon. <laughs> Yeah, my computer's running a little bit. This game is very graphics intensive. It's usually not this slow, though. Well, you're also streaming Netflix. That that doesn't affect the performance of this game. But it's still a thing what's crashing your internet. No, the internet bandwidth is fine. It's actual system system thing. His champion and mill the spider eggs over basically. Azure Fate Sorcerer's Flight, Berry Cards. Um, yeah, I have to counter that. Mills too many things. Well, I guess I can just sappers it. 